Okay, now let's talk about the quotient rule for exponents. So basically, this one's pretty simple. It's kind of similar to the product rule for exponents. And essentially, if you have a to the power of m over a to the power of n, it's equal to a to the power of m minus n, as long as a does not equal zero. So essentially, if you have the same base and you're dividing and exponents are involved here, what you want to do is keep the base the same and then subtract your exponents. Okay, so real simple. All right, so for our example here, we're going to simplify. We have 3 to the ninth power over 3 squared. So we have the same base, the base is three. So we keep our base the same, and then we subtract exponents. So nine minus two is seven. And again, to see an example of how this works, you basically think of three to the ninth power as what? Three times three times three times three, times three times three times, th what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, times three times three, over three squared. That's what this is right here. That's this right here. So we know from working with fractions that we can just cancel two factors of three here with two factors of three here, and we're left with seven factors of three, which is that right there, three to the seventh power. So that's how this works. Okay, let's look at part two. 14 to the power of 23 over 14 to the sixth power, base is the same, we're gonna subtract exponents. 23 minus six is gonna give us 17. So this would be 14 to the 17th power. And again, to make sense of this, you could write out 23 factors of 14, and then you could put in the denominator six factors of 14, and then you could just cancel six factors of 14 between the numerator and denominator, you would be left with 17 factors of 14. So that's how this works. All right, for part three, we have x to the fourth power over x cubed. And again, base is the same, so we keep that base. We're gonna subtract exponents 4 minus 3 is 1, so this is x to the first power, or just simply x. Okay, for the fourth problem, we have 3 squared times y to the fifth power over 3 to the power of negative 7 times y squared. So what we're going to do, again, 3 squared and 3 to the power of negative 7, that's the same base. So let's just write this as 3 squared over 3 to the power of negative 7 times y to the fifth power over y squared. So three squared over three to the power of negative seven, keep the base the same, so the base is three, subtract exponents. Two minus a negative seven, okay? Two, pay attention there, two minus a negative seven. So essentially this is gonna be three to the ninth power, okay, times y raised to the power of five minus two. So we end up with 3 to the ninth power times y to the third power. Okay, so that's very important. Remember what we're doing here. When you have 3 squared over 3 to the power of negative 7, this exponent on the top is positive. This exponent on the bottom is negative, so it's telling me I want to switch this from denominator to numerator, and I want to make this exponent positive. So essentially that becomes like that and you end up with three to the ninth power. All right, for problem number five, we have five to the negative three times x to the fourth over 25 times x to the power of negative two. So let's break this up. And I'll have five to the power of negative three. I'm gonna put this over 25 times x to the power of four over x to the power of negative two. So what are we gonna do here? Well, this part's obvious, right? X to the power of four over X to the power of negative two. What I wanna do is X to the power of four minus, again, a negative two. So it's gonna be X to the power of six. This part right here is less clear. From what it looks like right now, you don't have the same base. And I advise you to pay attention to this because you might get this as like a bonus question on a test. So 25, I know, is 5 squared, right? It's 5 squared. So really, I could rewrite this as 5 to the power of negative 3 over 5 squared, right? Because 5 squared is 25. So now that I have this in exponent form, I can kind of see what I need to do. 
All right, I need to take and keep the base the same, which is gonna be five, and then I'm gonna subtract. Negative three minus two, which is gonna give me negative five. So this would be five to the power of negative five, right? So essentially, I erase this negative three minus two here. So that's consistent with the x. So again, we end up with five to the power of negative five times x to the power of six.